there, sign of Gemini. This is Kim, and I'm here to do your warm moon reading. So thank you so much again for your subscriptions and your comments, all the support. If you would like a private reading, I'm doing those for donations. So you just check out, <laughs> my words get tongue-tied, check out the description box below. So let's get started calling in our angel spirit guides, higher self, higher power. Let's get messages that's for Gemini's greater good. I know I shuffle a lot. One more time. This is the Everyday Enchantment Tarot. We are going to cut this and then do a general Celtic cross for you. Just in different positions because I don't have enough room. So, what's the issue, guys? The issue is the Hierophant card. Either dealing with a Taurus or you're dealing with a commitment. Could also be legal issues that you're um, working out, like in a contract, that would also imply commitment. Could be that. So what is the challenge to this? The Wheel of Fortune? Not much of a challenge. Just waiting because your luck is coming in. So, something about this commitment, you're going to get extremely lucky about this. And this might be, since it's a general, it really might even be a commitment to a job or something like that. But whatever this is, it's the Wheel of Fortune's attached to this commitment. So, it's looking good. Good luck. The root of everything is your hard work and commitment. Hard work, commitment, eight of coins. Getting really good at your craft, whatever it is, whatever your skill is, getting really good at it. In the past position, we have the Knight of Wands. Either this is indicating something that came in really quickly for you, um, and, and maybe it was fun, passionate, some kind of new start, or this is a person who tends to come in and out of your life. It could be an immature fire sign, if it's meaning that. What is the present situation? Five of Swords, that doesn't even match with everything. So conflict, arguing, sometimes means comparison to sometimes. Let's look at the near future. Four of Wands, see you should be happy. I guess you just need to ignore this arguing around you. Look the bees there for prosperity. Okay, Four of Wands celebrating either meeting Twin Flame energy with 1111 or meeting milestones. Milestones met and so then celebrating with other people for that. How are you feeling? You're feeling like the Empress. That's great. So that you're feeling like whatever you're creating is going to be a success and you would be right, Gemini. You would be right. External. Six of Cups, wow, these are some great cards. So this is like reuniting with family, friends, possibly a soulmate energy coming in for you. This is the soulmate pleasure card as well as the family card. So yeah, it could indicate a reunion, something on the external there. What are your hopes and fears? The ten, though, that's definitely your hopes. That's the Ten of Coins and I would say with all of these good cup, these readings and stuff here, all these good cards, that that's coming in for you. Look at all the major arcana here. That's all involved in the issue, including the Wheel of Fortune, luck turning in your favor. Ten of coins, having everybody together and everybody taken care of. Safe and secure. Probable outcome, woo, good energy. The ability to create whatever you want. There's a blank canvas right there, ready, and it's it's the Ace of Wands is like this big inspirational new start, new beginning for you in whatever it is you're looking for. And like I said, it's gonna be really successful, especially with this energy and the Empress energy. Yeah, I see that being very successful. So I don't think we really need clarifying cards. I think they're pretty good. Let's look at the Guardian Angel card. Okay, if you feel like quitting or you feel like things are a little hard, the angels are saying, here's your angel of encouragement. Look at that, 11-11 again. 11-11, 11-11. Wow. Let's do your tea leaves, Gemini, and see what else they have to say for us. And then we'll wrap up your reading. Just a quick reading. Fire, strong emotion, passionate love or hate. Could be a fire sign. Diamond, you'll be receiving or giving a precious gift. Bird flying, news is on the way. News is on the way. Ah, oh, this is good. 
rooster, an arrogant, boastful person you should not cross. Maybe that's the five of blades is about. And then torch, spiritual development, enlightenment, awareness, and understanding. Another fire sign reference. Lots of passion here. Wow. So if this is romance for somebody, well, whoever this is for romance for, lots of passion. If it's about a new career or a start with that or with family, very passionately involved in this. All right. Sending you love and light. Bye, Gemini.